What's the story? My name is Upbeat and you're currently in my bedroom. We're about to do the lyrical breakdown for Better As Friends. One. Purple light room, typhoons, and now we're drowning. So purple light rooms is basically like, purple lights in general are obviously a running theme in my music and it kind of represents love and like intimacy and just like a safe space. So it obviously goes purple light rooms, typhoons, and now we're drowning because everything was good and then it turns into a shit storm and that's kind of what that's about, basically. And was it too soon, too soon to ask you out, yeah, on a full moon, full moon, I think about us in the lagoon, lagoon, no tops and trousers. So I'm obviously like notorious for falling in love too quick, and I say that a lot in my music, and that's kind of what that line is about, is like sometimes I just move way too fast for people, and I get way too deep and close to people. In general, even with my friends, like anyone I know, I kind of like, quite rapidly kind of connect with them so that's just something I do a lot and then obviously it goes from that into the lagoon and the lagoon is like a place in Mayo in a, in a, on a beach called Silver Strand it's actually called White Strand to the locals but there's a whole politics there with that but anyways the lagoon is where we kind of like grew up uh, as far as like going camping and stuff and we used to just like go out there camping and go swimming and everything it's absolutely class and um, now I've never actually had that like falling in love thing there but it's like a ideal image that you're like working towards and it's like what you think what love is and what it is in your head as you like create all this madness basically there's parts of you that i had and parts of you that i love my heart cracked it didn't break but i it wasn't enough so there's parts of you that i love and parts of you that i hate is pretty self-explanatory if you get what i'm trying to say there and then my heart cracked it didn't break is that i've only had my heart broken once and that was a pretty pretty intense situation, pretty intense experience. And a time after that has been like someone that very much has influenced my life and influenced a lot of things I do. But I wouldn't say that it was heartbreak, it was more like cracked because it, it was bad, but it wasn't that bad and it wasn't a long enough, big enough thing for it to be that bad. So I just thought it was a cool concept of your heart can crack many times, but it doesn't always break. And it kind of makes you realize that, I know your heart breaking should be thing, like not a celebrated thing, but it should be something that you should put a lot of value on so you should realise that not everything is heartbreak, sometimes it's just cracks. And like, you can fix those cracks. You dig? Man, you drove me insane, car broke down and blew up. And these country roads stay the same, potholes don't fill up, no. And then, sometimes when you're with that person, you can just like drive each other insane. So you're like toxic for each other. Even though you're both like very good people, and you're also like, like it's so weird, because everyone around you might like love both of you and think you're such cool and similar people. But when you're together, you're not so you're just driving each other insane so then the car crashes and it breaks down and then it's that's it done that's it over with so potholes don't fill up is like kind of a, a metaphor i guess because any like i don't as much as i'm from the west of ireland i'm not there as much i actually am currently now i'm in galway but usually i'm not here as much so every time i come back the country roads are still the same which is like reassuring but it's just like something's never changed and in in the west of ireland anyway uh, there's like loads of potholes and they never get fixed so it's just like these country roads stay the same potholes don't fill up so it's like as much as everything changes and obviously this like lovely experience I've had is kind of completely changed me but like nothing really ever changes and that's kind of what it's about I guess yeah so on my verses I always like to kind of sprinkle elements of the west of Ireland and Ireland in general and that experience because I want to represent the people here and anyone that relates to those experiences of being on beaches and country roads and things like that and that we be better as friends And you said that it be best in the end And you said that you don't want to see me again So tell me how the fuck are we supposed to be friends um, And then on the chorus it goes You said that we be better as friends You said that it be best in the end Because sometimes it is like Sometimes you need to end a relationship or stay friends But that's what the whole song is about Is that lie of like you say it's going to be friends, but obviously it never ends up being friends. It just either gets left or it goes back to being what it was originally. Because uh, then you go, and then you said that you don't want to see me again. So how the fuck are we supposed to be friends? And it's just that, like, mind, like it happens to everyone, I think. But it's just that, like, kind of confusion of you say the, I think we say the friends thing just to be polite or to, like, suit, fit the moment. But really, that's not the way it is at all. And... I think you come to that conclusion that, like it, there's like that nice that nice patch where you're like oh yeah it's cool we're friends like and then and they're like well while actually like this just doesn't fucking make sense and yeah that's what it's about basically now the funny thing about this song is 
so myself and 220 wrote the he basically he had the beat the original beat for this he showed me and uh, we wrote it together and then i kicked him off the song basically because i had a bigger vision for it but he's downstairs so i'm gonna call him and see um if he'll come up and give his side of the story if my phone rings yeah it does his real name is martin by the way what's crack well you done said so i come upstairs for a minute do you want to tell the old camera a story like Ah, what's the crack? Oh jeez, look who it is, look who it is. So come in here and sit and tell them the story about how we kicked each other off the song. You mean how you kicked me off my own song? Yeah. Where do you want me? I just want wherever you want. Um, so, myself and 220, that's not Martin, that's 220 for you. Yes. Um, wrote, we wrote two songs, we wrote Better as Friends and a song called Get the Check, which is Martin's song, 220's song. Ah. And, um, <laughs> yeah, do you want to tell them? Well, <laughs> this great song that has happened, started. So I had the beat for a little while. Um, it was about, oh, it was a long time ago, a few months ago. It's like had a year the, ago. Had the beat a little while. Um, yeah, it is, oh shit, it is almost a year ago. Yeah. Had the beat, and I was thinking, right, this is going to be one of them summer anthems. Had the hook for it. It was a bit of a lovey-dovey vibe. And then, kind of like slept on it, but had it in the voice notes. And then the magical upbeat comes over. So upbeat comes over. I'm having a few rollies, and he says, oh, we should have a writing session. And I'm like, oh, go on, so we'll have a writing session. And, uh, and I was like, oh, I have this beat from ages ago, because like, I'm a person, I'm a type of artist that likes collection of beats and just have them for the perfect moment. I was like, this is the perfect moment. So I put out this beat, and uh, I don't know if I told him, but I did have the idea for a hook, and I was like, but then he kind of yeah, like... Yeah, I made him, a new hook then. Yeah, but he got in his little zone, and then he was like on a roller coaster himself, so, you know, I let him just like get on going his roller coaster. So anyways... Uh, we continue writing the song. I'm kind of like, yeah, not really feeling it too much, but Uppy's just in the fucking roller coaster of it. Loving it. Like. So then he says, all right, uh, what do you think? I'll just give you a couple of days, maybe, you know, do something with your bit. And I'm like, okay, that's a, that's a great idea. <laughs> Long story short, he sends me a text message maybe a week after and he just say, oh man, uh, would it be all right if I took you off this and uh, put someone so on it? So I'm like, oh, not really. <laughs> and then it's like, oh, go on. So then, then that person got kicked off and then another person got on and ended up being great. <laughs> so I just felt like I was put right at the bottom. Yeah, but um, it also... Well, on the flip side, mm -hmm. we also wrote Get the Check in that session. And I kicked him off, Get and the Check. I had a lovely verse for Get the Check. And you know how you get the check. There's a, big, a much bigger artist than Get the Check now. But anyway, I was on Get the Check. Mm -hmm. And then next time I came over, he goes, Oh yeah, thing is on Get the Check now. And I was like, oh, ass. <laughs> You're no longer on Get the Check. <laughs> So we wrote two of our best songs in the same writing session, but mm -hmm. we kicked each other off of the songs. Which is uh, quite interesting, I'd say. Yes. Yeah. So this has been the Better as Friends Lyrical Breakdown featuring 220, even though 220 is not on the track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite prepared of it though. Yeah, thank you for watching this.